morning. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Mel Homer, and currently we have on the phone from the UK Sarah Passmore, who's a freelance journalist. We've been talking about the whole COVID shenanigans, the situation that's been going on in the UK. Hey, Sarah, I must ask, uh, what is the situation with the lockdown that you're in? When when is it going to free up? Have you had any data what when you can actually go out again? I think that we're in this lockdown until that until the infection start going down that infection rate is still very very high it's sort of high alert here at the moment still and I, I don't think there's any sign of them being able to relieve the lockdown certainly for the for the time being i would say for weeks yet but i don't want to be i don't want it i don't want to be a downer but it, it does feel like that you know it's particularly bad at the moment. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm hearing. You don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but it's not looking great, is it? I mean, how are it's people... not looking great. How are people coping? I mean, what is the mental health like when you uh, don't have an end in sight for a lockdown? I mean, how do you actually deal with that? You know, healthcare, people are really worried that that, that is the next problem that we're really going to be dealing with here. Once, once they've dealt with the infection, is how people have dealt with it. I mean, there's... Plenty of people who find themselves in small flats with no outdoor area that, you know, sort of looking at the four walls, not being able to really do much at all. Mm. Particularly um, elderly people as well who have really, you know, some of them have been isolated for a year, almost a year, because, you know, they haven't been able to see their families, they haven't been able to see their grandchildren, they haven't been able, you know, some people in care homes, some people in hospitals who haven't been allowed to have the contact that they would normally have so I, I you know I do think that's going to be a problem but I think you know they're sort of triaging the situation at the moment the first problem to deal with is people who are infected so and and stopping this COVID infection from running right. Yes well uh, I must admit we in New Zealand are sitting here and it's really i think we're all very aware of not feeling smug because we've just had a new year's eve where everybody went out there was fireworks that everybody could watch together uh there was parties there's been music festivals all over the country because we don't have any community I'm so jealous we don't, well we don't have any community cases of COVID. is has there been any reporting on that in the uk has there been uh, pictures of new zealand uh, enjoying life as, as normal um there may have been. I, I have to say, I have not really been watching the news about what's going on in the rest of the world. Morning, guys. Welcome back to New Zealand. Just want to send you a few seasons greetings, actually. Hope you all had a fantastic uh, festive season. My Christmas day was pretty good, actually. Quite enjoyed it. Met up with two-thirds of my offspring, and uh, they took me for a little bit of a little bit of a walk, and we had a bit of a drive, which was great. And I was hoping to listen to a a few Christmas uh, carols, that sort of thing, you know, uh, old little town of Bethlehem, uh, once in Royal David City, jingle bells, ding dong, merrily on high, you know, something quite festive and, and get it in the mood. Uh, yeah, didn't really work out like that. New Year's Eve. I was working, went down to the waterfront in Napier to shoot the New Year's Eve celebrations, festivities. And uh, that, that was pretty good actually, quite enjoyed that. Good turnout, a lot of people turned out, some good bands on. And then I went up the hill to shoot the fireworks display. What I wanna say guys is, look, I've got family back in the UK, obviously I've got friends back in the UK. And they are doing it tough, you know, they're really doing it tough. Much like uh, a lot of people around the globe actually. It's easy for me, been here, at the bottom of the world, as much freedom as I've always had, really. We've, we've been through one lockdown, well, two lockdowns. And, uh, and at the moment, we're just got free. We're going to events, there's people about. There's just, we're just doing what we do. There's no international travel, really, to speak of. Uh, there's no tourists coming to the country. Uh, but that's, that's just the way it is. I mean, so I can't really, I, I can't complain personally. You know, I'm, 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 I'm doing it bloody good. Damn sight better than a lot of people. I'm not much of a motivational speaker, quite clearly. So what I want to do, guys, is just send a message to my family and friends back in the UK and anybody else out there that's doing it uh, doing it tough at the moment. Stay positive, guys. You've got to stay positive. You know, start of the new year. Can't possibly get much worse than the last 12 months, surely. I think it probably can, actually. When I put my mind to it, I think it probably can. Guys, you've just got to stay positive, stay motivated. Got to find something, something, anything that keeps you 
keeps you focused, keeps you keeps you motivated, keeps you keeps you keeps you getting up in the morning. Basically, but I presume the majority of people who watch my sad little efforts are photographers. They'll know the benefits of grabbing a camera, getting outside, finding something to shoot, creating something from nothing. That's that's my motivation. I like to get out in the country. I like to go explore. I like to put these little videos together, and I like to play with my camera. And that's that's my motivation. All right, guys. So uh, listen. Oh, jeez, I thought that was a bug. Not a bad bug. Not like your sort of bugs. That are, oh, anyway, forget that bug talk. Shit. So basically, guys, that's it. Just listen. From New Zealand. Hope. I hope things improve for y'all. I really, really do. Stay happy, guys. From New Zealand. Catch you later.